We're now going to look at how to set up a video wall. You will see from the system in front of you that I already have a small 2x4 system. As you can see, I have also named all of the receivers to that of the position that they will be in the video wall. This will make things a lot simpler when it comes to the setup. To start creating our video wall, we head over to the video wall configuration tab at the top of the ACM. This is the host screen for any of the video walls that you may have in your system already. We don't have one yet, so we haven't got any information here. To start the process, we're going to click the blue new video wall button. The ID of the initial video wall will always be ID 1. The name of the video wall can be whatever you want it to be, from the location of where it'll be to what you want it to be known as. For the purpose of the video, we'll give it a simple name, Reception. Now we're going to let the ACM know the size of the video wall we want to make, horizontally and vertically on the screen count. For the case of this, we've got a 2x2, so that's exactly what we're going to have it set as. Should the video wall that you want be larger than this, just use the up and down arrows to increase the size accordingly. Now we're going to click Create. Now we're given a visual array of our video wall setup. Simply use the drop down menus for each section to assign the receiver that you want to that section of the array. This is where you'll be thankful of the previous naming convention I said, giving the name of the receiver the position you want it to be in the video wall. Now we need to set up the screen configurations of the array. This will enable you to get different layouts depending on the size of the array that you are using. To do this, click the Group Configurator button. By default, the ACM will group all of the screens together to give you one image across the whole display. We're going to use the Update Name button to change the name of this configuration to Video Wall, so we know that this is one image over all four screens. We're now going to add a second configuration, so we can switch between one big image and each screen displaying an individual image we're going to click the Add Configuration button. You can see the ID of the configuration is now 2, and we're going to name this to Individual, so we know what it is. Using the drop-down boxes, we're going to set each screen to Single, meaning that it will display a single source on that screen. Now that we're finished, we just click the Back button. Using the Screen Settings button, we can adjust the bezel and gap compensation. This process is unfortunately trial and error. We do recommend adjusting the width first and then the height. Once you've made an adjustment, you can apply that to all of the screens by using the Copy Bezel to All button. Then click the Update to apply that setting. After clicking the Update, you will then see if the adjustment is appropriate or not. Then you can change it accordingly. You then simply need to repeat the same process now, but for the height. Copying the bezel to All and then clicking Update and again, changing accordingly if it's not quite what you need. Once you've completed everything and you're happy with the adjustments, click the Back button. You now have a setup and working video wall array within your system. You will now also see a new icon, which is Video Wall Control. You can now navigate to it in the top left of the toolbar on the ACM. This is similar to the traditional drag and drop page of the ACM, but specifically for control of the video wall. You will see a mock of the video wall shown in the bottom of the screen. Simply drag and drop your source onto the array and it will switch accordingly. Should you have more than one video wall, you can use the drop down menu on the left to actually toggle between the video walls. To switch between configurations, you can use the drop down menu on the right of the screen. Here you will see the individual setup that we created. Selecting individual will then toggle the video wall to display sources individually on the four screens. Now the drag and drop control will allow you to drag individual sources to individual screens within the array. And there you have your completed video wall setup. <laughs>